idea. I like it. See, I told you the chief would agree. Well, let's get moving then. We can't let a word of this slip to anyone else. Hey, Amina, Hikaru, Marokao. You three seem particularly cheerful today. What's the occasion? Oh, Mulani, <laughs> you're back. Um, who are these two? This is the Traveler and Paimon, two very important guests. I wanted to take them to the natural hot spring, but Auntie Atea caught us, so we had to come here first. Oh, what a coincidence! We were just talking about her! We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Really? How can you tell? Okay, so while you've been busy with the pilgrimage, we noticed that she's been visiting the hot springs alone, at, specifically the hot springs in the cave to the north of our settlement. I'm sure you know the one. Apparently, she used to go there a lot. She could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Yeah, so we got to thinking, what if we renovated the abandoned spring behind her back, then threw her a huge surprise party? Chief Amina thinks it's a great idea, too. So, you want in? Of course! How could you even think of pulling this off without me? I'm a little busy right now, though. I'll come find you once we're done at the hot springs. <laughs> of course! Take your time. You should focus on our guests for now. These artificial springs are pretty new, but the experience is just as good as the natural ones, if you ask me. We really worked hard on them, so I hope you enjoy! And you two, I know you want to focus on Atea's surprise, but don't forget your patrol duties in the meantime. The Abyss could attack it. You got it, Chief. We'll keep an eye out. You can count on us. All right, we're off then. See you at the abandoned spring, Mulani. I'm also gonna head out. Have fun! Finally, it's hot spring time! Oh, I already arranged swimwear for you guys, by the way. Come on, I'll show you to the changing room. What do you think? Can you feel the warmth relax every muscle in your body? Yeah, it's so nice. The steam is warm too. The first time I came to the hot springs, there was no calming effect whatsoever. I was such a little ball of energy, the moment my parents looked away, I ran off to the high temperature. It was actually pretty funny looking back on it. They were absolutely frantic, looking for me all over, until finally they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. A natural-born swimmer, my mother called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. So feel free to go for a swim. I'll be right here if you need rescuing. Atea, you really came to check on us? <laughs> of course, and I'm glad you listened. I brought you all some milk and snacks as well. 
I'll just leave them here. <sighs> the temperature in the artificial springs isn't too high, so I went with Saurus crackers and grain fruit chips. See how you like them. Oh, thank you! Mmm, <clears throat> these are great! Well, I did make them myself. Very few young people know how to truly appreciate hot springs, so listen carefully. The temperature of the hot spring not only determines the type of snacks you should choose, but also the amount of time you should spend in the water. To bathe in a hot spring is to completely empty your mind. As such, swimming around the pool is incredibly disruptive and impolite, and something you should absolutely not learn from Mualani. Hey! <sighs> All right, looks like you were able to adapt to the temperature, no problem. You should be able to switch to the natural springs then. Well, I've got to get going. Oh, and make sure you drink your milk. I'm looking at you, Mualani. <sighs> I still... <sighs> that better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. <sighs> okay, okay. Paimon didn't think you were the type to do something like that. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd totally get away with it, too. But turns out milk is pretty easy to spot when you pour it into clear water. <laughs> Some people get dizzy if they stay in here too long. You guys all right? Hyman's fine, just a bit stuffed. <laughs> Looks like you two are naturals. Oh, by the way... I have to leave you on your own for a little while this afternoon. I'm gonna help the others fix up that I certainly don't trust their aesthetic tastes. Who knows what will become of the place if I leave them unattended. In exchange, though, I can recommend a couple of shops that are worth a visit. Huh? Yeah, she brought us snacks and taught us about the hot springs. We want to do our part, too. Friends are supposed to help each other out. We'd feel bad otherwise. Well then, the more the merrier. All right, we should get going. Let's organize the best hot spring gathering Natland's ever seen. Wait, you brought our guests, too? We're here to help! But you're important guests! We can't put you to work! All right, all right. Stop trying to out-polite each other, would you? The sooner we get this party started, the sooner... Now, where to start? Hmm, looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as well. Oh! Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth, wood, and decorations. Oh, and snacks, too. I say we get enough for 20 or 30 people. Bulk purchases fetch the- uh, uh, I'm not good at haggling. Why don't you go? Hey, I'm not any better, and I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, how about we handle things here? Yeah, that works, too. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. All right, let's meet back here later.
let's go! Hey there, Yellow Fast. Hope business has been going well. Well, if it isn't Moolani, back from the pilgrimage? That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. So, uh, can we expect a discount? Wow, that is a large order. What's it all for? A party? That's right. Uh, keep this between us for now, but... We're throwing a hot spring party for Auntie Ate. Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? That's great news! How about this? You can have the decorations on the hat. Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. At this rate, you need to... All right, all right. <sighs> Such a handful. Wow, that was amazing, Mulani! <laughs> All in a day's work. By the way, Yellowfath, are these two stones for sale? Interested? They won't come cheap. I'm not planning to haggle this time, I promise. Package them separately. Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets, so whenever I come across something like that, I always buy it for her. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice little surprise for her when she returns victorious from battle, I'm sure. All right, that should be everything. If you could just double check, make sure nothing's missing. Let me see. Huh? What's this crate of juice doing? That's on the house. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, Atea saved my brother's life. She never asked for anything in return, but I could never forget what she did for my family that day. So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun! Oh, we will. It's gonna be a party to remember. Thanks a lot, Yellowfath. Well, that's our shopping done. Let's head back. We're back. How's everything going? Wow, this place cleaned up nice. You got the water unblocked too. <laughs> Good work. I would hope so. We spent all day clearing out debris from the bottom of the spring. Did you guys get everything? Oh, we brought back tons of stuff! We set it down near the cave entrance. All right then, roll up your sleeves, everyone, and let's get back to work. Actually, why don't you two take a break? I'll handle it from here. Traveler, mind lending me a hand? So, I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could draw something on the wall over here, and... So, what do you think? Not bad, right? It looks amazing! I might have no idea you were such a great designer! Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family store, so... I'm pretty good at things like renovation and organization. Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Still, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. Guess it's too late to invite Auntie Atea. Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. Chief Amina set up those patrols to guard against the Abyss, and Atea volunteered. So she's on watch tonight. I see. Well, guess the surprise will have to wait until tomorrow. Hmm, this could actually be a good thing. She can relieve all the exhaustion of keeping watch all night by soaking in the hot spring! Ha! <laughs> She's gonna love it! Well, let's call it a day then. Traveler, Paimon, you must be tired too. Come on, I'll take you to the inn.
told you today's our lucky day. Off we go. I'll find a way. All right, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, good night! Ah, my mind's exhausted. Anyway, we need to be well rested for the party tomorrow, so let's head inside. Why now? Uh, hi? What's with all the noise? Traveler, Paimon, wake up! Moolani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? It's the Abyss. Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. Uh, Moolani! A little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Really? That's perfect! I've been waiting for the chance to fight by your side. Hang in there! We're here to help! Are the abyss. Destroy them. All right, let's finish this fast. Feeling lucky? Let's ah, go. Fire. Well, get it. The tide rises. Yeah. <laughs> Let's round them up. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm alright. Go help the others. I... I almost died.
out most of the monsters over here. Thanks for your help. It would have taken me- It looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. clear out those monsters. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where'd they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon. But... we don't have enough manpower to take it down. An abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gate created by the abyss. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. Alright, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. Need a surfboard? That's it, all right. Come on, let's get rid of this thing. Feeling lucky? Coming at ya! monsters, so... Looks like we're in the clear. Do these attacks happen a lot? Must be hard on your tribe. Yeah, it makes things hard sometimes, but... 
That's how our ancestors have always lived. Besides, the Abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are. Fighting back is the only option. Come on, we should head back. Huh? What are you looking at? Is there something over there? You're right! Mulalani, look! They're... Wait, that area looks kind of familiar! Uh, what? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovation. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, so it's up to us. Huh? Seems like the monsters are decreasing in number. Come on, everyone! Keep it up! Ataya, what are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is- Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> Mulani. And... Atea? What- Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Quick, someone get a doctor! Yeah, all right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is, they didn't destroy anything. This Wait, no! This was meant to be... <laughs> For me, right? Atea! <laughs> you think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. It couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. And you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you? You have to choose them based on the temperature. Oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together and I'll help you make whatever you want, okay? The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. What? The crystal has been purified? When? The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? 
Atea! Atea! Wait, what do you mean? Oh. What is this? Some sort of purification? Uh, how can that be? I never knew that was even possible. Uh, 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 <coughs> Atea! Uh, the mark? Yes, thanks to the Traveler. By the way, Traveler, are you alright? I just saw you purify Abyssal Power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? You're sure? Good. Good. Ah, oh, thank goodness. You scared us all half to death just now. All right, everyone, head back and get some rest. We'll meet here tomorrow. We'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our triumph over the abyss. And most importantly, we'll show the Traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Got it! Got any other secret powers I should know about? <laughs> oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight, so thank you. Paimon almost forgot you had that ability. You used to back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You... Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her in- We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Uh, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean... Hello? Traveler? Maybe you can zone out some other time because Paimon can- Get back! <laughs> 
Need a surfboard? <sighs> Finally! Someone's coming! Please help us! Today's our lucky day. Off we go. Let's ride. Always at the bottom.
clothes, you must be scholars from Sumeru, right? Yes. I'm Karya, and this is my senior, Baramdra. Thank you so much for saving us. Don't mention it! Handling these sort of things is practically second nature to us. Still, it seems that all the Koholosaurs just ran off. We need to capture at least one alive. Uh, capture one alive? Correct. Say, I can see you are very skilled at dealing with them. Do you think you could use me as live bait to- Apologies. Varandra has been hyper-focused on his re- Oh, no worries! But why did you approach a whole group of wild Koholosaurs, and what's this talk about capturing them? Uh, Paimon's pretty sure that's not- I'm sure we must look very silly. The fact of the matter is that we're searching for a mysterious island from a certain- Approaching them without the help of a guide from the people of the springs was certain- A mysterious island? Yes. There is a legend from the people of the springs that mentions a mysterious- Ahem. <clears throat> Are you certain you two won't- Some proposal? There's no way we- Then I suppose discussing it any further will just be a waste of time. <clears throat> For Ramtra- Oh, all right. You did rescue Karia and I just now. A little awkward, but Paimon will take- We should move on, Karia. Yes, thank you again. My apologies. Ramja really d That's all right. Bye now. You really don't see a pair of adventurers like those two ever- But anyway, Paimon's really curious about that mysterious island that Lady just mentioned. Yeah, who knows? There might be- After all, the amazing places we've explored during our adventures, finding some mysterious island should be a walk in the park. Oh, you're right. The lady mentioned that the mysterious island is related to a- Time's ticking, let's get started on our next- But the real question is, who should we ask? Hmm, that's an idea. If it.